Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade and downgrade COS OS through the command line. I'm going to SSH into the server and then run all that. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over at Home Lab, some installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So I'm going to upgrade this COS OS install that I have. I'm on... Um, uh, 047 and I'm going to upgrade to 048. Um, COS OS makes this extremely easy by going in the um, server and running a command. Um, we're going to be running the uh, normal command that we do, except we're going to put a version on the end of the URL. So I'm going to um, show you that I have some containers running. So I'm going to have a uh, Hama running and my edit is uh, down here. So um, that should be staying there uh, when I upgrade, and then it should be staying there when I downgrade too. So um, now I'm going to go over to my command line. I'm gonna SSH in the server and run it. So now I'm gonna show you what you should back up before upgrading or downgrading. So I'm going to ls into data, app data, and then this is what you should back up, a data, app data, and then um, var, lib, casa os, and then apps. So now uh, your app data is where the data is stored, uh, your, uh, your volume binds, and then um, for your Docker Compose, and then your Docker Compose files live in var, lib, casa os, apps. So I would recommend backing this up too. So if anything goes horribly wrong, you can restore everything and get things back up and running pretty quick. So that's what you should back up. So I'm SSH into my cost OS still. So I'm going to run the command to upgrade my cost OS to 048. So I'm going to paste it in. So um, if you notice what's different about this command is it's got the version on the end of the URL right here. So V048. So I'm going to run it and I'm going to upgrade my cost OS. So now we are upgraded to cost OS 048. So, and it's running. So we can go over to our cost OS and see what it's like and if everything's still running. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now if we go over to the COS OS install, um, you're going to be logged out. So you're going to need to log back in. And if you forgot your login, you can reset the password. And I have a video on doing that. Um, so I'm going to log in now. So now you can see it's still back up and running and it's everything still here. You can see it's right there. And you can also see that I'm on a 048. So it did upgrade. So if you refresh the page and then go into here and custom install. So it's got the Docker image and the tag. So that'll let you know that it's, it's on 0482. So. Um, I'm going to SSH back into the COS OS and downgrade again and show you that you can downgrade. So now, like I said, I'm going to downgrade to 047. So I'm going to paste in the command. So it's the same command, except the version on the end of the URL right here is changed to uh, 047. So now I'm going to run this and downgrade. This can take a little bit to run. So we successfully ran it and it looks to be good now. Um, I did get an error on the cost OS app management service not coming up correctly. So I just ran the command again and now we're on cost OS 047. So we got it downgraded. So now I'm going to show you that it is working. So it logged you out like usual. I'm going to log back in and then I'm going to log in. 
So now you can see everything's back up and running, and you can see that Homer's still running, same data. And um, you can go up here, and you can see that we're on 047 now. So it did downgrade successfully. Um, so um, you can go in the Files app and go to App Data, and you can still see that it's still all here. So I just showed you how to upgrade and downgrade from the command line. So I just showed you step-by-step step on how to upgrade and downgrade your cost OS from the command line. So uh, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.